Before I get started, I would like to extend my sincerest condolences to the family, friends, and fans of Craig Mack. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Craig Mack was best known for his hit Flavor in Your Ear back in 1994, and he was an integral part of the foundation of Bad Boy Records. But sadly, Craig Mack passed away last night, according to media accounts, at the age of 46. The cause of his death is being reported as heart failure, and many are saying that he did not seek treatment for his heart problems due to his involvement in what some call a cult. I received an email this morning. Remember I told you, Craig Mack? You people out there listening to me? Craig Mack, you know, when he first came around, he really didn't want anybody to know where he was. Well, I'll tell you, boy, is now he, what do they call that, Wiki Pig? Wiki Pig. Brothers, there I saw for a Wiki Pig that Craig Mack has joined the Overcome Ministry. Is that true? Well, no, Craig Mack is dead. We have somebody, it used to be Craig Mack. And he didn't join anything. God joined him. Craig Mack reportedly joined the Overcoming Ministry located in Walterboro, South Carolina around 2012 and lived on the church compound until his untimely death. The Overcomer Ministry brochure describes its compound as a location that about 70 saints, families, single brothers and sisters live in common unity. It says we have all come together to join together in the preparing for the soon coming of Jesus and to be set apart from the world to be able to live a sanctified life. We live in community homes of mobile trailers for each family or accommodations for brothers or sisters with common baths and common eating, all seeking to live together in love for God and each other. We do not go anywhere as we do not need to do so. We work the farm and have our school, and with the simple life, we need very little that the world offers. As stated, members of this church live on the grounds of the church and do not go anywhere, not even for medical treatment. Their brochure clearly states, we go nowhere, no shopping or trips to see what have you. Your life will be here on the farm until Jesus comes. Members of the church are allowed to quit the church and rejoin their regular life if they choose to do so. They're not being held hostage physically. Mentally, they each may have their own reasons that keep them there. But in any case, it seems Craig Mack chose to live his life right there until his dying days. The church was led by Ralph Gordon Stair, who you just saw in the video, and he was considered a prophet by many of the members, including Craig Mack, who referred to him as a prophet on camera. However, the church leader, Ralph Gordon Stair, who was 84, was actually not living a holy life as he professed. He was arrested in December of 2017 and charged with three counts of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, one count of assault with intent to commit criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, one count of kidnapping, one count of burglary in the first degree, one count of second degree assault, and one count of third degree criminal sexual conduct with a minor. I will leave a link in the description box to the news report of the allegations against him. But taking all of this into consideration, it appears that Craig Mack lived on the church grounds from at least 2012 to his last days and chose not to leave the church grounds to seek treatment for his heart problem. Craig Mack called us about six months ago and told us that he, um, that he was real sick, that he might be dying soon. So he called all his friends that he went to school with, you know, me, Alvin, my boy Bernard, Lenny, um, Bismarcky. Um, he called a few of us. So we kind of knew what was going on. He only had 25% of his heart that was, you know, he was using. And um, when he would talk to him on the phone, he would kind of like, you know, days off for like 10 minutes at a time to catch his breath sometimes and then he would come back to the phone. So this is not a surprise to us, to people watching a surprise, but we knew he was dying. Was it, oh, it, was it so some it like kind of a congestive uh, heart failure? Yeah, was it congestive yes, heart failure? Yes, congestive heart failure, exactly, yes. Wow. wow. Uh, so, so he called uh, all of you guys together 
and I presume he wanted to record something before before he passed away. Well, Craig Matt wanted to get his story told, so one of our old friends named Alvin Tony, who signed Craig Matt to Bad Boy, went down to the um, I guess you call it camp or whatever, and um, and did two hours worth of interviewing with Craig Matt. Craig Matt wanted to tell the story before he left. And it's kind of weird that he died because I guess he wanted to get that off his chest first and then he passed away. Once you see the documentary, you will see what Craig was like and Craig was in no shape to perform. He wasn't, he was working with a cane and he got real slim, but he was still had the personality. He was still Craig laughing and joking sometimes, but he was too weak to perform. Craig Matt was more of a lyricist and and it was a beautiful person too, but he had more to say. It was just too bad we couldn't see it. So you did put down something, and and we will hear it eventually. Oh yeah, of course. Hell yeah. Yeah, hey Craig Mack, friends. I told you he's around. Craig said to me the other day, he said, "You gonna let other people hear this?" I said, "Sure." I says, "Uh, uh, you put it on the air." He said, "Whatever." Anything to get a testimony out that I believe that Jesus is coming. You see, if you go back far enough with Craig, as one man called this morning, he said, I knew Craig, he said, I was one of his fans. He said, he made millions and millions of dollars. Now, a lot of folks don't believe that, Craig. You had a lot of the story from you. The devil tried to steal your soul, too. Yes, amen. But we took care of that, Pete. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. 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 Now, I knew when I put Craig on with the, uh, when he got to be hip hop, I, I told you right away, I tried to dab the music down. But you see, that's where they do it. Where did you want that music? You had it? Yeah, we were just going to have it. Okay. And so he, he came back again, and he, he made it more clear. If you listen, you heard me right at the end. I put it on a little more clear. But I did ask him to do it a cappella. Amen. That means no music. Amen. And then I said, now, be more deliberate with your words. Oh, I understood his words, but, you know, he, he, he didn't have to go along with the music. He sort of put an emphasis on the word like, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Craig Mac here, huh? What do you call yourself? Child of God. No, 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 no. That's what you said that when you started out. Oh, um, uh, Incredible Mac. <laughs> Incredible Mac. You'd be surprised how many people around the world know about Craig Mac. That's what I tried to tell you when he showed up here. I didn't pay him no respect at all. Right. Then when they told me he had money, I showed him less respect. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. sure did. Now I say you've got faith, I'm giving him more respect. Glory. Hallelujah. Right? Thank you, Jesus. He told me he could do that a cappella. Is that right? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Well, I know to the world, the rap I kick will make you think I'm a lunatic. Lost my mind, I'm mentally sick. But for all mankind, this is it. New kingdom on the earth where the devil don't fit. No more bad times and no more wars. New Jerusalem, the city with the gold on the floors. Righteous laws, a thousand year pause, the earth rejuvenated, Christ illuminated. I fight for the cause. I kick down doors the devil set up. See, I'm about to erupt. Max a warrior. I wear the armor of God. Fix your face, raise the base, and stop looking so hard. You see, praising the Lord is easy for me. Craig Max right where he's supposed to be. You're not close to me, you foes to me. The saints praise God and the Pope praises rosary. See, we about to take it to the next millennium. On Judgment Day, I know where he's sending them. The earth and God on one accord, and I'll be in the choir singing praise the Lord. That's it? Now, y'all ask the question, 
Where is Craig Mack? And you two played me at the tabernacle. Jumping up and down with the prophet of God, giving praise to my king who was bruised and scarred. Set me free, gave me a charge, a night to remember like El Debarge. I gave away my cars, turned in all my guns, cause the Max David beef like hamburger buns. I sold my home, I moved my family, South Carolina, so they could stay mad at me. If I stayed in New York, it's just another tragedy, so God cleaned me up. Well, y'all are still raggedy. Sore as a cavity, depravity. You're facing calamity. Your ego on a high like we ain't got gravity. Your majesty, please forgive. This world gives you death, but I want to live. See, what you going to do when God come? To me, the best song on the album. If you don't turn around, you know the outcome. This hell's a place that you ain't never coming out from. When God come down for a change the ground, you better change, praise the Lord. It's all upside down for he turn it around. You better praise the Lord. When God come down for he touch the ground, you better praise the Lord. One God, one Savior, one Lord all aboard singing praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Love you. Again, I pray that his soul rests in peace.